This MZ Mind video is about the new MSMS spectral library generation tool. And we measured cholic acid on an HPLC electrospray ionization mass spec uh, system. And we can see that we generated multiple ions. So we have in-source fragments, multimers, uh, different adducts of cholic acid at the same retention time of 4.88 minutes. And if we just go and uh, right click, export, export MSMS library, we can export and submit all these entries, all these uh, adducts and MSMS spectra to the GMPS library or generate our own local uh, spectral library. And I've already done this and added all the metadata. And for this, we can see that on the left side, we have the different spectra, the different MSMS spectra of uh, the different adducts. And we have uh, in-source fragments, we have uh, different adducts, we have multimers and different adducts of multimers. And then when we scroll down, we can see that maybe some of the spectra aren't uh, looking too good. So we can usually just uh, zoom in, we can reset the zoom, um, we can look at the different spectra and if one of the spectra is just not rich in information or it's not the uh, correct um, compound we can just cross it out and this entry is not going to be exported or submitted to GMPS. And a pre-filtering is applied so we can pre-filter by setting up a noise level we can use minimum signals in MSMS scans and then sort the scans by maximum TIC or maximum number of signals. And if we do this here, for example, for the in-source fragments, uh, we can see that we have two different scans and the maximum TIC scan uh, is selected here as the best. But we can, we can change this selection and just select the different, different scan here if we want to. We can also zoom in and we can check if all the uh, signals kind of match and then we can export all the different adducts at the same time. And this is done by um, supplying some metadata. So first of all, we supply a local file if we want to save uh, either a GMPS JSON file. This is an internal um, library entry submission format or we can export the uh, NIST MSP standard file format and then generate some local libraries here. Um, we can directly submit the entries to GMPS. So this is done by submitting the um, entries, all of these entries uh, to the GMPS web server to the local library. And then we have the username and password uh, just for the submission to GMPS. And other from that, we have the principal investigator, data collector, description and so on and especially the compound name, exact mass, and uh, fragmentation methods, formulas, and structures, which can be given in smiles, inchi, inchi key, cas number, uh, can be easily extracted from um, websites like chemical identities of biological in interest. So uh, if we go here, we can just extract all the different metadata and yeah, and then we can go on submit. And with this submission, we can see that we want to submit 11 MSMS spectra. And these are all the different ions, adducts and multimers. And then we press on uh, submit. And this is going to generate a local library now in MSP and in JSON format. And we can also see that we submit the uh, different library entries to GMPS. And we can read in the console, we can read the, um, the results and we can see that um, one of the results is here. So first of all, the re uh, response was okay. And then we submitted it to this website, but the entries are going to be in the local, in the uh, library of GMPS then.